So the live action Kim Possible movie came out recently. So I thought to give a review on it since I love Kim Possible a lot. It was a uh, Disney original film, not a theatrical version. Which unfortunately means that the special effects were really, really bad. Like they couldn't really get any worse than they were. But the special effects aside, the movie is actually really good. I did watch the trailer for it after seeing the movie and found that the trailer was horrible. I think the reason for it is because the trailer made it look like the movie would kind of poke fun at it almost. Almost make fun of the uh, the original show. However, the movie uh, does a lot to, to pay homage to it. It does a lot to feel just like a normal episode of the uh, of the show despite being live action. Despite the, uh, despite the uh, bad special effects, the acting uh, is actually pretty good. I mean, there are some child actors who are going to have some problems, but uh, overall, though, the actors did a decent job. The, uh, the biggest reason for it, I think, is because they did a lot to really try and be like the characters in the show. I mean, you even have Patton Oswalt as, uh, reprising his role as Dr. Dementor in a little cameo appearance. And the original uh, Kim Possible voice also makes a brief uh, cameo. The actors for Kim and Ron, I kind of, I kind of, uh, they kind of grew on me. I warmed up to them a little bit. I almost got the feeling that the actors weren't really comfortable in the roles quite yet. For example, Ron's actor seemed very uh, low energy a lot of times. I think his screams needed to be a little more uh, powerful. And his booyahs were weak. Those needed some some work. But at the same time, it's interesting that the movie takes place in their freshman year of high school. So it almost feels like if they want to make more of these, that maybe the actors can grow more comfortable with the characters, just as the characters grow more comfortable with who they are. Overall, the characters did a the actors did a good job portraying the character. Only disappointed that uh, their teacher didn't have the uh, the Warburton uh, the deep voice like he did. Better than that, there were plenty of moments where I felt like I was just watching the TV show. Only a couple of changes they made from the original show, and I feel like almost all of them worked for the better. I rather enjoyed the soccer instead of the uh, the cheerleading. I think it was an improvement. And I like uh, explaining Ron, not Ron, uh, explaining Rufus being intelligent and getting to see an alternate version of Ron and Rufus meeting for the first time. Although I still think it should have kept the same that Kim was... Uh, Kim was kind of grossed out by Rufus at first, and he kind of grew on her a little bit. So anyone that was a fan of the show, I think, should check it out. I will give it an official 8 out of... 8 out of, uh, 10. But that's also from a biased point of view from someone that watched the TV show. If you didn't watch the show, it'd probably be more like a 4. I only give it an 8 instead of a 10, just because it was a Disney original instead of a theatrical version. Being something of an action movie, the, uh... It, it just made the bad special effects disappointing. But if you ignore the bad special effects and just uh, and ignore the occasional child actor moments, you'll have a, a pretty entertaining film to watch, especially if you grew up watching the original. It was a digi- uh, b b b b It was a dig-